Whenever something spooky happens that crosses the line between spine tingling and genuinely dangerous, your first instinct is to pick up the phone and dial the emergency number. But what happens when the emergency services need an emergency number of their own? Take a look at this clip of a supposedly haunted fire station in Tucumán, Argentina. Especially spooky when you see that it's a stretcher that could have possibly held a dead body in its past. A security guard in Chile has been tormented by a supposedly dark entity ever since he started his new job. After three failed attempts, he finally captured it on camera to prove to his boss that he was not going crazy. Here's what happened that night. Bueno, este, ya son como las 11 de la noche y la, la tercera vez que estoy escuchando este ruido de mierda. Es, no sé qué está pasando, pero lo quiero grabar ahora para que y después me crea la gente, porque esto nunca me pasó y, y nada, lo quería grabar. No sé yo, podrido, la concha de la dos. Como mierda, puede ser que no haya nada. Ay. Ya es la tercera vez. Tercera vez que entro y no hay nada. Dios. Me quiero ir. Me quiero ir. Bet you missed it, didn't you? As he moves across the room to capture every spot where an intruder could hide, he fails to notice a dark mass running right in front of the camera. Clearly, no one could be seen behind the door or under the benches. The poor dude just wanted to finish his shift and go home to his family, but instead he had to put up with a bratty poltergeist. What do you think though? Did you spot anything we didn't? Let us know in the comments. By now we've seen so much that some of us are truly convinced that our world isn't really what it seems. Birds paused in the sky, the Simpsons predicting the future, and uh, babies merging through safety gates. What in the fresh hell happened there? A glitch in the matrix or a deep fakes going too far? You know those fancy bars and restaurants that have huge wine displays scattered around the place? Sometimes you can't help but imagine how much money it would cost if you happen to push it over. The thought of that hole in your wallet is enough to send a chill down anyone's spine. But apparently, that's no worry for poltergeists. Take a look at this. talk about the wrong place and wrong time. When he watched the footage back, probably at the recommendation of the poor staff member who witnessed it, the owner couldn't believe what he saw. The wine rack has a sloped shelf design. This is specifically designed so that the bottles are safely pressed against the wall and don't, well, do that. So how did those bottles go flying onto the ground? According to the owner, they were decades old and extremely expensive. So the idea of anybody pulling a string off camera for a prank would be outright ridiculous. Let's just be glad it was caught on camera. Otherwise that staff member would be scrubbing more than just floors to pay that off. 
after you watch this clip from Average American 2022, you'll be sprinting up your stairs at night without looking back. You see tons of stuff in these older buildings. Tons. You see shadow people in Crazy. Like a big ghost hunter type person. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Watch it again closely. If this were just a trick of the lighting casting his own shadow, how was the shadow moving upstairs when he was walking downstairs? And shaky talk of shadow people in their building makes this video all the more creepy. While on some kind of tour with her friend, this girl records what she once thought was just some beautiful scenery. But when she watched the footage back, she froze with fear. Take a look. Ada yang tahu rumah ini? Rumah pengabdi setan. Nih, pengabdinya. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Keep a close eye on the top window at the very beginning of the clip. There is a figure with what looks like a ghostly white face standing at the top of the house. It could be somebody playing a bit of a prank, but why didn't they just stand there waiting to be seen? Surely, if you were trying to scare people, you would do something to invoke a reaction. You wouldn't just turn on your heel and walk away, would you? So who? Or what the hell is up there? Let us know what you think in the comment section. This person claims to have captured a video of something rather mysterious, judging by the time and place it was seen. Have a look. Watch out, watch out, watch out, somebody, wait, watch out. Was that the mystical phoenix, or just a light bouncing off a bird? We'll let you be the judge of that. When the YouTube channel Yams uploaded this video, they only intended to capture their dog in the backyard, but what they ended up capturing on camera that day left them absolutely terrified of the woods. Here's what they caught. Bryson, she's getting away! Ah! <laughs> Dude, do you see that? No, dude, what the heck is that? No, dude, do you see that? Oh my god. Dude, Bryson, tell me you tell me you don't see that. No way. What is that? Ellie, Ellie, come on, come on, come on. Someone or something was caught on its hind legs like a huge werewolf heading towards them. The boys were so frightened that they made for the house with their hearts thumping. Could that have been what they thought it was? Or maybe one of their friends just dressed up in a costume to scare them? Share your thoughts in the comments. Hotels always feel a little bit off, like they just aren't your space. But have you ever thought that it might not just be the room's ambience? You could be sharing it with someone, or something. Kuroshiro decided to look into this phenomenon after receiving a direct message from a follower about a hotel in the Kanto suburbs, Tokyo. The history is pretty murky, but apparently there was a brutal murder in one of the rooms years ago. There were even rumours that a man was dismembered and left in the very walls of that hotel. So with a little help from his friend, Kuroshiro decides to perform a seance to try and communicate with whatever lost souls inhabited the room. But he soon regrets ever stepping foot in the door. After hearing something near the entrance, he walks over to check it out, and when he turns around, his hair stood on end. Whoa. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look at the doorway to the bathroom.
And as soon as he sees it, it's gone. It couldn't have been a friend trying to spook him, because where would they have run to so quickly while the camera was down? What do you think happened here? Let us know in the comments. A dad is capturing moments with his son when something pretty terrifying happens on camera. ¿Qué carajo? Mames. Quédate, hijo, quédate, quédate, quédate. No mames. Amor. No me lo vas a creer. At first, it's easy to assume that anyone could be touching the door. But when he checks who's there, no one can be seen. This was far from the first strange event their family experienced inside that house though. Hearing unexpected noises echo throughout the rooms, seeing creepy shadows near the door, and dealing with sleepless nights became the norm for them. But when his son starts telling him that he is seeing stuff that no one else can see, things take a turn for the worse. Hey Google, ¿qué hora es? Son las 3:10 de la mañana. Nada, amor, nada. Some people think this was a real person standing outside, but look at the layout of the front porch. There was nowhere to hide in there. The other door was locked, so what on earth could it have been? The fact it happened at 10 past 3am just makes it even scarier. Creepy videos are scary and all, but nothing is more bone chilling than what could happen to you if your private data falls into the wrong hands. That's why we decided to hook you up with a jaw dropping deal from today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Don't know what a VPN is? Let's put it this way. When you go online, big tech companies and scammers learn a lot about you every time you click on their stuff. Surfshark VPN saves the day by encrypting your online data, meaning no nasty sniffing around your private information to do God knows what with it. Yeah, I know you love being scared, but viruses and scams are not the type of scare you'll love. Trust me. Plus, remember that time you wanted to watch that Netflix horror movie, but it wasn't available in your country? You can now. Just switch your device's virtual location with Surfshark and unblock all the content from any country you like. As easy as one click. So, now that you know what it takes to boost your privacy online, let's hook you up with Surfshark. And boy, did they go wild on the discount code for our audience. Check out with the code GOOSEPIMPLES to get a massive 83% off and free extra months for free. Even if it's just to try it out, it's risk free with Surfshark's 30 day money back guarantee. Click the link in the description and the code GOOSEPIMPLES will be automatically applied. Thanks again to Surfshark VPN for making this video possible. Now, back to our spook fest. Well, those abandoned buildings aren't going to explore themselves, are they? While learning about some local folklore, YouTuber In The Dark discovered an abandoned building with a blood-curdling story. According to urban legend, the very building in this clip is inhabited by demons who stole the soul of a young boy. Apparently, the young boy's spirit returns to the area every so often. But is it true or just an old wives' tale? Let's find out what's going on. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Of course, so far, we can't see if there's somebody upstairs, but he soon grew some balls and decided to take a closer look. However, the more doors slammed throughout the video, the better view we got and the less explainable their footage became. Surely we would have heard footsteps running away before he opened the door. And how would that person have run unnoticed towards this room? It's especially terrifying when we get a full pan around of the room the slamming came from, and there is nobody there. Let's take a look. I'm not sure if you're steady. And as he travels deeper into the building, more things worm their way through the cracks to let him know he's not welcome. Seems like we can't see whatever terrorizes the rooms, but we can definitely hear their footsteps. There was clearly the sound of loud, heavy footsteps sprinting past the doorway, but there was nobody there to be seen. He takes all this activity and the fact that he claims to have felt hands pulling him through the corridors as a sign to pack up and leave. But almost as a good riddance, the building churns out a few more scares. And then, as he was filming his outro, Arkadaşlar gördünüz. Bismillah, bismillah, bismillah. Bismillah. 
Arkadaşlar dediğim gibi videoyu burada bitiriyorum. Az önce o camı Do you think this is footage of a demonic hellscape or the fancy footwork from a backstage team? Let us know your thoughts. The weeks leading up to Halloween are always a bit tense for everybody. Masked mannequins in shops and continuous horror movies on the TV are enough to set anyone a little on edge but you can usually shake it out of your mind and get right into the spooky celebrations. Unless you're working the night shift. Check out this scary video uploaded by Gilbert Chang of a lone office worker getting the fright of his life just a few hours before the spookiest night of the year. When the air freshener fell, you can logically put it down to a draft. Some of the doors are open, after all. He seems to think the same thing as he quickly picks a bottle up and gets back on with his shift. But can a draft explain the monitor falling and smashing against the floor? There's a wall behind that monitor, so nobody could have pushed it while hiding on the other side. Of course, there's always the possibility of clout chasing but it's still very unlikely that someone would risk breaking a monitor just to create a fake ghost video. And if you're putting it down to unbalanced weight, finally toppling, look closely at the monitors. The base was planted firmly on the cabinet with the rest of the screens. So, why did none of the others fall? When the worker jumps up to investigate, he gets one last shock before he calls it a night and sprints out of the office. He could have pulled a string while bending down out of shot, but with the way he sprinted out of there, he probably just couldn't wait to go grab his spare pants. Sometimes the things that aren't paranormal are the scariest of them all. That's especially true when it comes to these videos of madmen lodging themselves between razor-sharp stone walls. You guessed it, the caving videos are back, with a vengeance. While attempting to draw up a map of the caves, these guys got themselves in between a rock and a hard place. Literally. <laughs> Luckily, they do live to tell the tale, but let's leave the cave exploration to these guys, shall we? For more terrifying clips like this, make sure you subscribe to Caveman Hikes on YouTube. These YouTubers decided to embark on a paranormal investigation through a supposedly haunted hotel that has been abandoned for years. Locals believe it to be haunted by the owner who ended his life in the bathroom leaving the whole building abandoned. Apparently, sometimes, screams can be heard coming from inside, so no one even dares to go snooping around the premises. Of course, these guys saw that as more reason to bring their ghost hunting equipment and give it a go. But soon after, they would discover what makes the locals so scared of that place. And it's not pretty. Take a look. After following what sounded like an object being dragged up the stairs, they discovered someone or something hiding away from the camera while holding some sort of weapon or tool. Luckily, they didn't stick around long enough to find out how that item would be used on them. 
but when they reviewed the footage captured that night, they noticed something that left them shaking in terror. While waiting for the rest of the crew to reach him so they could all get out of there, Hero had no idea that someone was right behind them. It looks like a pale figure standing still and staring at him, but who or what could this be when they were supposed to be the only people investigating the place? I guess we'll never know. But what do you think? Could the ghostly owner still be roaming around the building to show who's the boss? Or did some shady individuals decide to occupy the place since everyone else is scared to go there anyway? Let us know your thoughts about this one in the comments. Security cameras are a true blessing, alerting you to any sign of threat to your house. But they're also a curse, considering the abundance of creepy ass ghost sightings they seem to traumatise us with. While watching her security footage back, Ismail Kaloka noticed the cameras picked up on something. Of course, she immediately assumed it to be a stray cat or a squirrel, but definitely not this. <laughs> Some commenters seem to believe this is just a camera glitch, but the creepy vibes from this sighting were surely enough to give everybody goose pimples. Was this a ghost casually walking, or technology trying to prank us all? Let us know. This professional tattoo artist had a heart-racing experience with a supposed entity that certainly made him wish he paid a little more attention to the warning signs. Signs of paranormal activity. It's just a freaking camera glitch, isn't it? Just a technical issue, surely. Or is it? After his friends left, he heard someone banging on his door, but there was no one to be seen. Sometimes, even with him by the door, the knocking just wouldn't stop. But all this strange activity was only the beginning of a full-blown poltergeist manifestation. He now had to set up more cameras in the house. And surprisingly, the camera in his work area was the one that captured the most compelling evidence yet. Take a look.
with no one in sight and no traces of strings or editing, the chair could be seen being dragged by some unseen force. Top that up with the orbs and constant detection by the movement sensor and it becomes pretty hard to deny that something really strange must be happening inside his tattoo parlour. And if you thought someone was behind the curtains pulling this off, the following footage will surely change your mind. The uncanny spirit took it up a notch, and by the time he woke up, this had happened. Hay alguien ahí? Hay alguien ahí? Oh mami, no mami, ya viste, ya viste hija, ya viste, ya viste hija. Hay alguien ahí? Espérate, espérate hija. Hey. What do you think of all these weird experiences? Could he be somehow pulling all these tricks? Or is he dealing with a real attachment? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Ever since Shaheo Negron started the remodeling process of her new home, her little daughter has been experiencing strange activities at night, enough to make her screech in despair. After countless complaints about strange occurrences inside her bedroom, particularly with a doll that she claims to move on its own, Shiria decides to film that pesky Satan spawn with hopes of ruling out her greatest fear. Here is what was caught that night. Well, I'm sitting here filming my daughter's doll because since we moved into this house and started the remodeling process, We've noticed a lot of strange things, especially with my daughter's toys. And this doll, my daughter has come to me numerous times saying that she's seen it moving, mommy, it's moving across the floor. And there was one time, that's why I started listening to her, that I could have swore once I came into the room, it moved. And I'm going to do a close up of what this doll actually looks like. And it's kind of old, where I have nothing really precious or special about it but it just has this feeling about it and i'm just going to sit here on my steps and record it and see if maybe she will do something for us and i'm just sit here and watch her a little bit and i don't know I, maybe see with all these orbs that's here or something i don't know how true that is but it's definitely something with this one particular doll oh look at these orbs Maybe she's camera shy or something. Whoa. Did you guys just see that? Looks like the chair just moved, and maybe that was, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, the fucking chair is moving. Whoa. Okay. Are you seeing this? This is some freaky shit. Oh, I'm about to run. What the hell? Ah, shit! Whoa, what the f Just when she was about to give up, the chair began to rock slightly. This is a bit tricky, given that someone could just be moving the chair from behind, and she never shows that area on camera. However, the recliner jumping by itself might prove that something far more sinister is at play here, simply because it would be pretty easy to spot a hand touching this handle. With the camera angle, we would catch anyone trying to pull it back. Underpin that with the fact that multiple orbs were seen flying around and you know she might be dealing with a poltergeist, or worse, a chucky wannabe. 
You might be sick of the haunted dolls by now, but this one is especially creepy. According to the owner, his wife really wants to get rid of this hell spawn, and can you blame her? Although, the history of the doll is what fascinates him the most. He believes it once belonged to Princess Charlotte of Wales, who passed away after giving birth to a stillborn in 1817. With the creepy history, is it any surprise that strange happenings have been plaguing their house? At first, it seemed to be influencing the other toys in the house. Whenever he put his daughter's old Cabbage Patch doll near it, she would dance. Without any batteries. He even cut the internal wiring to make it stop, but she kept going. After posting that, commenters flocked to explain what was happening, and somebody told him that there were batteries in the legs and feet too. He breathed a sigh of relief. That was until he actually had a look. No batteries. At all. It could just be on demo mode with a weaker internal battery still powering it. But how spooky is that? Then, he managed to catch something even weirder on camera. His wife said she kept coming home to stuff strewn across the floor when nobody was home, so he decided to set up a camera when everyone was out, and the footage shook him to the core. My dogs were the only ones in the house. What did he see? The scariest thing about this clip is the dog's reaction. What did he see that we couldn't? At this point, you're probably on the wife's side with this, but for some goddamn reason, this guy decided to take that doll on holiday with them, and she didn't take a break. Those tissues couldn't have pulled themselves out like that, unless there was some kind of mechanism within the box. So, what's going on? Is this really ancient history showing itself for antiques? Perhaps not. While we can't really explain the flying objects and the dancing toy, Charlotte the Haunted Doll might not be as spooky as we once thought. A quick scroll through this guy's comments will reveal she isn't a vintage antique. She was actually made by Zombie Dolls on TikTok as a custom order for him. Which begs the question, did he buy this doll just to try and get some attention on the internet? Or was this an attempt to raise awareness about the paranormal activity he experienced as a kid, when no one believed him? Let us know your thoughts. Like most teenagers these days, this girl has the cringe habit of recording herself lip syncing for TikTok. But, after accidentally capturing the scary video you're about to watch, it's fair to say that she'll never do it again. Take a look. While watching the footage back, she noticed a shadow figure sprinting just outside her patio. And if that wasn't weird enough, she's been hearing strange noises near her bedroom window at stupid o'clock. Of course, after this incident, there's one question she can't stop thinking about. Was it just a paranormal weirdo? Or worse, a creepy neighbour with sinister intentions? Just like the one this next girl had to deal with. Imagine waking up from a good night of sleep ready to start your day, and the first thing you see when you open your eyes, is this. After hearing her doorbell ringing at 6am, ignored it and went back to sleep only to wake up 15 minutes later with it ringing again. Worried, she grabs her phone and checks the window right next to her bed to see what's going on outside. And that's when she finds this pesky stalker perversely watching her sleep. She immediately called the police 
They got there and he didn't even try to hide. Caught right in the act. Fortunately, they took the creepy man away. However, it wasn't until he went to the police station that some damning revelations were made about this mysterious creeper. It turns out, after talking to a few neighbours about this scary footage, she learns that they've also had their episodes with the creepy dude. Basically, they told her that he was caught putting a letter through their letterbox, requesting some fun between him and the couple. But the most shocking part was that he wasn't new to this. Allegedly, he's been doing it to a lot of other women on the block, and has even been arrested a couple of times for it. But somehow, the police don't see him as a threat enough and keep releasing him. Alistair Sees may not have suffered from a poltergeist attack, but boy, will she lose a couple of nights sleep because of this experience. Selling a house is one hell of a stressful endeavour. You always want to make sure everything is perfect to get a good offer. But for Natalie Bonovich, broken cabinets and peeling paint jobs weren't the only things making her stomach drop. While taking a full video of the outside of her house for a buyer, something appeared in the front left window. Take a look. Bet you missed it, didn't you? For a split second, we can see what looks like a ghostly figure approaching the window and quickly vanishing into thin air. Some commenters were pretty sceptical, saying it looked more like the reflection of the light rather than any kind of ghostly figure. But Natalie pointed out two things that might make you think it's something else. In the clip, the sun was shining on the back of the house, so if it was light being reflected on the window pane, where was it coming from? And she also elaborated in the comments that the person she sold her house to a few months later said he felt something else lived there too. A trick of the mind or a true glimpse of the paranormal? Let us know what you think in the comments. The Ogden paranormal team decided to return to the haunted place where they carried out their first ever paranormal investigation years ago the Old Thule Hospital, now known as Asylum 49. These relentless ghost hunters had investigated Asylum 49 two times before their latest visit, and each time they left with an experience that further deepened their faith in the paranormal, even though they were not quick enough to capture it on camera. This time, things were different though. Their camera captured someone or something watching them very closely from the darkness. This is what they captured. Let's brighten this up for you. As they approached the wall, we could see what appeared to be the head and shoulders of someone peeking through the window frame. It wasn't the shadow of the mannequin, as that was formed and can clearly be seen behind it. So what could that human-like shadow be? And why did it vanish so quickly? Can you explain this one? Please share your thoughts with us in the comment section. The sheer amount of lives lost in the Second World War was enormous, and a good amount of those people took their last breaths aboard the HMAS Diamantina. The ship saw its fair amount of tragedy. After the war, people decided there was too much history on there to just lock her away, so she was preserved in Queensland Maritime Museum. With that amount of historical weight, it's surprising that no other paranormal investigators took a tour before. But Dan, Pete and Simon over at Nightwatch's Paranormal Australia jumped on the chance to take their equipment and set up shop there. There was a lot of light activity surrounding them over this entire two-parter. They claimed to hear multiple disembodied voices echoing around the lower decks of the ship. And some touch-activated cat balls even turned themselves on in front of them while they tried to communicate with whatever could be down there with them. But that isn't the creepiest thing that happened. 
While they were sat completely alone on the bottom of the ship, they heard something that sent chills down their spines. Is that you, Casper? Casper! <laughs> We're gonna ask him if he was walking around. If that's not Casper walking around, man, then that is the most heaviest footsteps I've ever man. heard in my life. Yes. Yeah, mate, we're, we yeah, we're done. Oh, we're done, mate. We're done downstairs. Well, you can turn the lights on if you want. Put your lights on. Yeah, yeah, we'll be. Hey, quick question. Were you walking around in, um, upstairs? No, I didn't. Why? You didn't walk around upstairs at all? No, <sighs> I did. Not to. Not. Not. Mate, not um, we've just had serious footsteps. Above us. I, I'm talking as in like it sounded like a solid body walking around with solid boots on and I, I'm we're full on like full on with I was yelling out going Casper is that you <laughs> like is he walking around now are you walking you're not walking around now no 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 well I no, just no, heard no. footsteps yeah we just heard him again wow above okay. us wow no, 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 I'm not sure I'm standing still this, uh... okay right well we didn't want to bring you in into um just in case because we weren't sure but um that's yeah, why I thought no, I'd no, ask no, you now no I'm trapped I sat on the back in the call well, well, then there's someone walking okay, around the then, ship. Then, uh, then, then there's definitely an, um, an entity or something walking around wow. in the ship. Um, it wouldn't be... The place is secure. No one can actually get in here at the moment, eh? Hey? No, no, right. not at all. Okay. Is, uh, we all by ourselves in this bridal. Something is hovering around them. The footsteps and the knocking are as clear as day. At first, we thought it could have been the only other person on the ship at the same time as them. The chairman, Casper. But when they call him to tell him what they heard, his response sent them spiralling even more. He was nowhere near them the entire time. So who, or what, was making all that noise? To watch more terrifying clips like this, make sure you subscribe to our dear friends at Nightwatchers Paranormal Australia on YouTube. Home is supposed to be the place where all your troubles melt away. But for Jerry Bruce, it's no comfort. His home is his own worst nightmare. One night while sleeping peacefully, he and his wife were awoken to the sound of a door closing in their house. When they went to inspect, they grabbed their baby and fled. Why? Let's watch. Everybody can see this and I've done it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Some commenters seem to believe they could see somebody's hand grabbing the handle. But after a few close rewatches, there is nobody hiding in the cupboard, or outside of it for that matter. Plus, he opens the doorway too fast for anyone to have enough time to hide. Even if you pass this one off as faulty mechanisms in the handle, how do you explain this? Thank you. 
Unless there was a weird mechanism installed in this guy's front room, there's no way that ball could have flung itself upwards like that. Something strange must be going on here. Especially when you take a look at this following clip. Whoa! Maybe it's a poltergeist, or maybe it's some kind of incredible engineering. What do you think? If it's not the kids randomly staring at walls or saying something creepy to freak you out, then their toys are doing the job instead. One afternoon, somebody stepped outside their house and just had to record something they couldn't believe they were witnessing. Take a look. Quite a few sceptics jump to the comments with claims that this trike must be remote controlled and that someone is lurking just out of shot with the controller, but we couldn't find a single remote controlled trike online with pedals, and all the ones that have pedals are not remote controlled. Whatever the explanation, just cross those trikes off the kids' Christmas lists, for everyone's sake. A brisk nighttime trek can help clear your head, ease your mind, and uh walk your pet demon? In this clip, posted to r slash ghost subreddit by phantom88 1999, the CCTV cameras outside their dad's workplace picked up on the stuff of nightmares. Most of the comments are screaming camera glitch, which makes sense. But look closely at the figure, it has a certain uncanny valley to it, the way it stumbles forward, unsure on its feet. So what the hell is it? A skinwalker? A glitched out dog walker? Or something demonic? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. There's nothing worse than feeling unsafe inside your own home. And after watching the scary video Nicole's family captured on their security camera, you'll be glad it happened to them and not to you. Let's watch. No wonder the rest of their family didn't believe it until they watched this footage with their own eyes. In the full video, we can see the couple getting in bed after their usual bedtime routines, when what they believe to be an evil entity viciously drags the blanket off them and throws them into a frantic panic. 
Her husband tries his hardest to keep her calm for the sake of their baby, but he's met with a paranormal punch in the face, quite literally. He truly believes an invisible force sent him crashing into the wall and then proceeds to grab Nicole until they both made it out of the house. Although a string could easily pull the blanket, it's very unlikely they used strings to pull the curtains. The wardrobe door, the mirror, the expensive TV, the wall paintings, or even the pillow. Not only would they trip on all those strings, but all these objects also move in the direction of a wall or ceiling when we have a clear view and there's no one to be seen. Also, their reactions, as well as their family members' voices while watching the footage. It all seemed pretty genuine, not to mention all those orbs flying as if there were no tomorrow. Plus, think, she was pregnant. Would she really put her baby through the stress of making it all look realistic, just for a bit of clout? I guess we never know these days. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Sama and his team of paranormal investigators behind the YouTube channel In The Dark decided to visit an abandoned school dormitory, one that many students and teachers reported being, quote, terrifyingly haunted. Crashes and bangs could be heard in hallways hours after the curfew, and the haunting sound of the call to prayer emanating from the empty mosque was a common occurrence. So naturally, going inside with their spare pants packed, these guys had a pretty good idea as to what they were walking into but they never expected this paranormal punch in the face. Sorry, <laughs> 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 Even with all that commotion, and how quickly they run to check if there's anyone playing pranks on them, they still can't find a single sign that anybody but themselves is inside the building. Every room they investigate draws a blank, even when you can hear it was a war zone in there before they entered. <laughs> They can even hear it from outside. But that's not the only thing they heard while they searched the outside perimeter. Remember when we said the call to prayer could be heard from the empty mosque? Yeah, they weren't lying. And it's even creepier than you can imagine. And after getting sufficiently spooked, they decided to call it quits. 
watch it. Now, you could argue that the cabinets and planks moving, the crashing and the quarter prayer were all done by a hidden third party, both by wreaking havoc and placing a speaker down in the right places. But throughout the whole investigation, we couldn't see any shadows, hear any footsteps, or spot any kind of speaker whatsoever. So, could the place be really haunted? Let us know what you think in the comments section. To watch more terrifying clips like this, make sure you subscribe to In The Dark on YouTube. These guys deserve so much more recognition, and we'd love it if you could help them out. Paintings are one of the classic forms of artistic expression, but as beautiful as they can be, some paintings really strike fear into the hearts of many. And if you're unlucky enough to be in Ryan's shoes, the fear of paintings would soon become more than just a harmless phobia. After receiving a strange request from a new client, he created a masterpiece engulfed in darkness. Little did he know that soon after completing the task, his mysterious client would end up ghosting him. Quite literally. Paint in blood at night. Fuck. Don't have anyone in here. Don't have anyone in here. But the hardest ship is moving. After hearing some strange noises coming from his art studio at Stupid O'Clock and finding nothing there, he decided to grab his phone and prove to himself that he's not going crazy. That's when he caught the cause of the late night rattling sounds. Skeptics might call it off as a string, or a breeze, or something hidden behind the canvas shaking it. But we get a full pan around the room and a close look behind the painting. There is nobody in sight, no strings to be seen, and none of the other paintings are moving. So how could this be happening? Let us know what you make of this one in the comment section. The Jefferson Hotel is infamous for all of the poltergeist activity they've captured over the years, but none of it can be compared to the most recent mind-blowing paranormal evidence that they caught on camera. And get ready, because today, you're about to witness the reason why this place earned its title as one of the most haunted hotels in the world. Guests have reported seeing objects moving on their own, shadow figures running across corridors, unexplainable noises, and some more explainable noises too. For all jokes and uh, bodily functions aside, let's start with the CCTV evidence. While looking at the overnight cameras, the owner noticed the motion sensors picked up on something in the kitchen at around 5am. He was expecting to catch a bug on the camera lens, but what he actually captured made his blood run cold. Take a look. Here's, you know, the area where everything went flying. We have a small, well, a light thing of crackers, which there's not much in there, so it's not super heavy. The butter is uh, pretty heavy. Bananas are very heavy compared to the rest. And then you got your crackers, which are pretty heavy, which are full. We're not ruling out the possibility of, uh, you know, some type of animal. It'd have to be a pretty big animal to do what you're about to see. But again, you know, I'm leaning more towards paranormal because we did a lot of debunking. There was no droppings. We've never seen any type of rat, possum, anything like that in this building. The movement that, it was just so weird. Like the movement went like this. So there had to have been, I, I just, I can't explain it. So let's get right to it going to the events to make sure nobody came in or out of the kitchen. There's first set of movement right there. We know nobody came into the kitchen. Uh, I came in there three hours prior to this, and I'll show you that footage. And we'll also go over the uh, light anomaly, because I that one is just crazy to me. I've never seen anything like that. So let's see what other movement we're going to get. That was the taller cracker. You can hear something's moving there. There's big movement. I think the taller box is about to go flying here in a second. Okay, 
you can hear it. There it goes. Alright, there's the taller box. Now the banana is coming up. This is the one that's really weird. Should be here in a second. Right there. Alright, so it looked like the butter just moved. Now look at the bananas. I, I can't explain that. Like, looks like it got pulled back. Now it's about to get launched. And this is the last part. And here we go. Now you might think somebody could have snuck in and performed this as an elaborate prank, but when we take a closer look, the footage comes straight from the camera app, meaning there are no video editing tricks here, but it also clearly shows that nobody was detected in the kitchen between 2am when he was last there, and 5am when the activity started. So what on earth could have knocked all of the stuff over? But wait, that's not the only weird event a camera caught that night. Check out this front desk footage captured around the same time as the kitchen antics. See how bright that is? You can even see at the bottom the scales. The reflection on there looks like somebody's welding. So my first thought was, okay, there's something uh, in that light. You know, the light bulb's going out, something. But then I decided to go to a different camera angle. And this is the front desk. Look at this. So you can clearly see it's not that light it's something entirely like emitting on its own right there look how bright it is the camera even picks up on it it's like whoa that is incredibly bright and it looks like it's coming like from the back side of that picture right there that didn't seem to come from the light bulb at all the light anomaly flashed above the staircase and to this day nobody can yet explain what the hell that was but these creepy paranormal antics aren't the only thing making staff and guests nervous. Eddie the Haunted Doll has been somewhat of a celebrity throughout the hotel for over 10 years. Hundreds of paranormal groups have caught him moving on camera. Some commenters on those videos even believed they could see his chest rising and falling, as if he was breathing. After these clips, Eddie had a bit of a rest from scaring the daylights out of people, but very recently he rose again. Ever since he began seemingly taking notes from Chucky, the hotel decided to place him behind the glass case. And that glass case is what makes this clip even more confusing. There is nobody around at all, and he is locked securely behind the case door. So how the hell did he suddenly lean forward like that? It could be gravity, but why did he topple, stop dead, and then topple again? That's one unusual force of gravity. But of course, Eddie is not the only haunted doll present in the historical Jefferson's Hotel. Years ago, while investigating Eddie, a team of paranormal investigators caught somebody else trying to steal his limelight. It all started with this video. Oh, oh, she... oh, it Did you see that? When the video was released, they followed it up with an explanation, but that explanation showed something even more terrifying. And he was, uh, we were asking them to move, and he moved his, uh... Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look at the glass reflection behind Eddie. Another doll cocked its head, clear as day. Perhaps it was sick of him getting all the attention. To see more spooky clips like this, and a few more haunted dolls on the side, make sure you subscribe to the historic Jefferson Hotel and Paranologies on YouTube. The family behind the Paranormal Nightmares YouTube channel have been recording and live streaming their haunted house for over two years, and the footage they have captured will leave your jaw on the floor. The activity they experience seems to be relentless. Something wants to communicate with the family, so much so that it's even been caught having a go on the musical instruments. And even the family cat noticed something wasn't quite right. 
The entity never seemed dangerous or violent, but some of the footage is insane. Though that wasn't all, because if it wasn't already creepy enough, these guys also have haunted dolls and boy are they creepy. According to the Kitty K, these dolls have been around since the 50s and her mother used to play with them as a child, so it's not any surprise that they've been caught moving on camera multiple times. Even though we have seen the activity spread throughout the whole house, the basement is the real sweet spot for paranormal activity. Ever since putting the dolls in there, they decided to put a security camera up to see if their suspicions about the dolls were correct. And weren't they just? Now, the door slamming is one thing, but how did the door move if it was behind a glass case? There couldn't have been a string attached to it, because the guy would have tripped over it when he went to look at the doors. And it isn't just the humans in the family running from the room to grab their spare pants. The cat makes an appearance again. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look right in front of the dolls. A shadowy black mass appears. And the cat has no time for that. People stopped going down there as much after this. But one night, the eldest daughter came in late from the cinema and just so happened to notice one of the dolls was on the floor. Not thinking much of it, she brought it up to the rest of the family, which led to a jittery watch of the security footage and it sent a chill down each of their spines. Those flashes of light could just be a light bulb malfunction, but the family swear all the lights were turned off before they went to bed. And if everyone was in bed and there was nobody in the room, how did the doll topple to the ground? If you still think you can debunk this one, take a look at these next few clips. They decided to set up a chair in the basement and set the dolls onto it to see if anything would happen but they weren't expecting this. The scariest thing is that it isn't even a rocking chair, meaning some kind of force has to be balancing the chair on its back legs. But what the hell could it be? Now, Obviously, the question of hidden strings or fishing wire is probably playing on everyone's minds. But take a look at this next clip.
Mud! If anything were tied to the chair, the plank of wood would have knocked it and toppled the chair to the ground. So who, or what, was tipping it over? Whatever it was, he wasn't sticking around to find out. For more spooky clips like this, make sure you subscribe to Paranormal Nightmares on YouTube. A few weeks ago, paranormal investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter decided to spend the night alone at the Velisca Axe Murder House, and boy, did he regret that decision. The Velisca Axe Murder House is considered one of the most haunted houses in America for the chilling paranormal activity caught on camera ever since eight people were slaughtered in cold blood inside that very property. Its chilling history started on the 9th of June 1912, when all the six members of the Moore family and their two guests lost their lives during their sleep to a brutal axe murderer. And if that's not stomach churning enough, six of the victims were actually children, including the guests. After a lengthy investigation, no conviction was made, making this one of the saddest unsolved murder cases in America. The motive of the attack and perpetrator remains a mystery to this day. Ever since these tragic events, visitors have claimed to hear disembodied voices of children crying, see balls and other objects moving by themselves, feel cold spots and even some more sinister poltergeist activities. Of course, with all its bone chilling history and strange happenings that have plagued the house for so long, the Midwest ghost hunter had to investigate it. But even with his years of experience in the paranormal investigation field, nothing could prepare him for what he would capture that night. This is how it started. Is there anybody down in this cellar? Hey, axe murderer, are you down here? This seems like a place fitting for you. Whoa. That was up there. That was like a creek. Freaked out more. That's like a creak in the floorboard. What? Oh, my God. That sounded like children. That literally sounded like children. What is that? Oh my god! Oh shit, shit, shit. After venturing into the basement and hearing the floorboards creaking above his head, when he knew that no one was supposed to be up there, he followed a sound that felt like children giggling. To his utter surprise, the ball he had earlier seen in the children's room somehow made its way down the hall through the master bedroom and was now bouncing down the stairs. However, this was far from the creepiest paranormal evidence he captured that night. A visit to the master bedroom proved to be even more compelling. Take a look. Honestly, the scariest thing about this room to me is that. That is an axe mark. That was from the killer swinging the axe onto here. Onto, uh, well, unfortunately, 
these uh, unfortunate souls. On entering the bedroom, he immediately came across a mark on the ceiling. As it turns out, while swinging the axe to kill Josiah and Sarah, the killer accidentally left that mark. That's how brutal the attack was. The paranormal investigator then decided to take some pictures of the bed where the lifeless bodies of the Moore parents were found. Weirdly, two of these pictures took a dark red hue, even though the flash was working perfectly fine. And more unsettling was one of the pictures showing two unexplainable dark masses over the bed, almost like dry bloodstains. In an attempt to provoke the entity, the Midwest ghost hunter decided to uncover the mirror. According to police reports, before leaving the crime scene, the murderer left all the mirrors in the house covered for God knows why. After the provocations, we can hear some loud knocks coming from the attic where the killer hid before committing the crime. Well, you gonna do something? I just uncovered your mirror. What you gonna do? But soon enough, this ghost hunter learns why it's such a bad idea to bring a killer ghost its favourite weapon. Here's what happened next. I brought you a present. I think you're pretty familiar with what this is. Is this not what you used? I know you're up here. I can feel you. I can feel your presence up here. Do something. an entire family with this and the fact that you are here and you're not burning in hell at the moment is a oh, what the fuck oh my god dude I just rattled my chair The supposed ghost rattled his chair, which certainly rattled him as well. After taunting the ghost to scare him away from the place, he certainly found what he was looking for. The scare of a lifetime, enough to flee the building without packing his gear. Wouldn't we all? To watch more creepy paranormal investigation videos like this one, follow the Midwest Ghost Hunter on his YouTube channel. Also, a massive shout out to our viewer Leanne Strachan for suggesting this video via email. The following scary video was taken in a subway station with a very dark past. Stationed in Nuevo Leon, 
the area around it seems to attract some of the worst atrocities. Back in 2012, down the road from the station, the corpses of 49 men and women were found in a heap, all missing their heads, hands and feet. It was one of the many massacres throughout Mexico at the hands of a bloodthirsty cartel. But it wasn't the only deadly news that came from that specific area. In 2015, another tragedy also happened in the surrounding area of the subway station. A fatal collision between a bus travelling from Nuevo Laredo and a freight train killed 19 people. The train barrelled into the side of the bus and sliced it in half while it was trying to cross the clear railway crossing. With such a dark past, it's no surprise that there are many reports of people experiencing paranormal activity in this metro station and around the whole area. And these guards certainly caught something on camera they might never be able to explain. Take a look. ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde es? Está ahí arriba. ¿Qué? Now, there's always the chance that this could just be a kid messing around and shouting through some ventilation shafts, but surely the guards would have found some sort of proof. Either way, this was not the first time it happened in that metro station, and it probably won't be the last. But the mystery still remains unsolved, and going off of the horrifying history alone, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to assume some paranormal activity was going on in such a seemingly cursed area. The Clean Water Demon House in Reno, Nevada held a lot of history. According to legend, a dozen people lost their lives under a mysterious circumstances on the property. Pair that with suspicions of occult activity and the paranormal stories really just write themselves. After hearing all the campfire stories, the guys over on the haunted side decided to grab their equipment and head in there. They heard some disembodied footsteps, got some smart responses on their overless device, found some bones throughout the building and even decided to bust out the SLS camera. They did capture some creepy stuff at the start for sure, but when they came back with their night vision camera, their blood ran cold with the realization that they were not alone. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. There was someone in the window, and to prove there was no way someone could have been sneaking around the room for a good shot, the guy showed the footage from the camera in that very room. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. Had we realized in the moment what we captured, I don't think we would have walked by that door so casually. 
from here on out, things get a bit more physical. Upstairs EVP session. Is there somebody up here with me? Are you trying to get our attention? Did you used to live here? Whoa! Dude. They venture upstairs after hearing some more footsteps only to hear an almighty crash from beneath them. Now, it could have just been a breeze, or unbalanced weight finally toppling, but check out what happens just a few short minutes later. If you walk closer to this machine right here, it'll let us know that you're there. Can you come just a little bit closer? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Did you see that? That didn't seem like the wind. And why did both the beam and the bike fall when the guys were upstairs? A few comments detailed their own experiences with the house, with many nearby residents saying the souls within would much rather be left alone. But sadly, the house was knocked down recently, cutting the paranormal investigations short. Maybe the supposed souls still linger on the grounds, waiting for the next group of people to walk by. To watch the full video and even a part 2, make sure you subscribe to The Haunted Side on YouTube. Exploring abandoned villages at stupid o'clock always sounds like a cliche opening for horror movies. But what happens when those jump scares are not the result of a special effects team? Takano Uchi learned it the hard way. He is well known on YouTube for his in-depth paranormal investigations. But this one in particular had him wondering whether or not he would get out of there alive. He decided to investigate the abandoned Shirawa village in Saitama. Rumour has it, this very village was the one that inspired the horrifying Forbidden Siren game. Some believe it became abandoned when the unemployed youth moved to the city, but locals from the nearby villages still refuse to talk about what really happened there. All we know is that whatever happened, it happened suddenly in 1984. Of course, with such an eerie history, Takano Uchi couldn't help but explore it alone at night. But if hearing what sounded like footsteps following him throughout the whole village wasn't enough, he also noticed some movement and rattling noises coming from this house. And that's when his cameras caught something your hope only exists in your nightmares. Take a look. He already had a bad feeling about the mirrors, but it looks like his gut instinct was right. A few comments were suspicious that he stopped right in front of the mirror, accusing him of kicking it off camera. But take a look at this. One of his other cameras caught it from a different angle, and you can see that it kept shaking as he sprinted away. I suppose it's not considered one of the scariest original Japanese ghost towns for no reason. To watch the video in full and more content like this, be sure to subscribe to Takano Uchi Camera on YouTube. While going through their notifications, a family in Brownsville, Texas realized that their ring doorbell camera captured something rather impossible. Hi, you are currently being recorded. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look closely at the two people walking down the road. One of them seems to disappear behind the pillar, but we can still see the two shadows on the pavement. The video goes on for a few minutes after this, but the vanishing person is nowhere to be seen. Brownsville is well known for its haunted past, dating back to the 1800s. From human remains found during the restoration of the Cameron County Courthouse, 
to a famously haunted room inside the Hotel Colonial. Brownsville seems to be a freaking paranormal hotspot. It's pretty common for night shift workers from multiple historic buildings across the city to claim hearing strange noises or witnessing creepy apparitions, but every time they get closer, there's nothing there. Considering the strange footage was also captured during nighttime, could it really be just a camera glitch? An optical illusion? Or was that guy literally ghosted? Have you watched this scary video yet? Click here to watch it now. You won't regret it, promise. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.